guys welcome back to the channel hope you're doing all right we've been a pretty successful week again uh, the subs are flying up i do appreciate all the support uh we are pushing for monetization obviously the original target was 500 we're now aiming for the thousand target now uh in doing so i do still need to get my viewing hours up so if you wouldn't mind watching this and a few of my other videos in entirety be very much appreciated even if you just let them run in the background while you're doing other stuff uh be very grateful for that just to try and get those numbers up to touch um be very much appreciated this video we're going to do a reaction to slapped hams okay these scary videos are getting out of hand now it's just a little short one so we'll give it a look and see what it's all about let's get the cans on and hope it's a good one let's go how you doing i'm callan and this is slapped ham you're about to see some of the scariest videos going around the internet so hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just Please like do this. pop by his channel. The link is in the description. And make sure you give him a sub. Thank you. All right, my daughter's room. TikTok user Alyssa094 sent shivers down the spines of her followers when she uploaded a video on September 2nd, 2023. In the eerie footage, Alyssa recounts strange occurrences in her daughter's bedroom located on the top floor of their home. According to her, an unsettling presence becomes visible when a flashlight is cast from the lower level. Take a look. All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh, look at that. What are Watching that again slowed down, you can actually see the blinds move despite no one being in the room. Mm -hmm. That is my... was speculating that this might just be an elaborate setup. The eerie event has left some commenters wondering whether this house really could be haunted. But... To... That's pretty creepy. Hear thoughts on this strange sighting in the comments down below. Yeah, I didn't notice the blinds twitching at first. I was looking for a shadow. It's a bit strange, isn't it? All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh, look at that, dude. Way to creep your kid out. On January 14th, 2024, the Instagram account Alien Bioma thrust it's itself into the spotlight with a video that's become the talk of the town in online horror communities and beyond. Capturing a peculiar moment in broad daylight over San Diego, the footage reveals a spherical UFO. Is this one of the Chinese balloons? Most striking is the strange object's shape, a departure from the conventional dislike forms that have become synonymous with UFO sightings. Zooming in on the object, viewers are met with an assembly of scrap parts and metals, raising eyebrows and prompting questions about its origin. Really Harry Potter, in it? The eerie resemblance to a man-made creation adds an additional layer of intrigue to an already mysterious sighting. So is this an avant-garde creation, perhaps an elaborate hoax, or an authentic glimpse of extraterrestrial activity? What do you guys think? <laughs> Just look like a recent balloon. TikTok upload by user 4 Mural here, the picturesque scenery of Port Dixon, Malaysia, takes a chilling turn as a mysterious creature surfaces from the tranquil waters during sunset. What the fuck are you? What is that? Is the footage a rare, catches an no? unusual creature seemingly diving in and out of the water with erratic movements. I thought it was someone on one of them jetpack things at first. Commenters on the platform have drawn connections to the Sulu Badar, a mythical being deeply rooted in the folklore of the Malay archipelago in Indonesia and Malaysia. That's smart. The creature is said to haunt those who reside near rivers or depend on fishing for their livelihood. Researchers remain skeptical about the existence of the Sulu Badar. 
you'd know about if that was coming after you, wouldn't you? Bloody hell. Sometimes referred to as Badar tendrils, emphasising the uncertainty surrounding their original form. Despite exhibiting aquatic movements akin to other river-dwelling creatures, the Badar tendril's elusive nature leaves experts perplexed. The tendrils reportedly attack humans when they sense a threat, often causing large waves or disturbances in the water. Legend shrouds the Badar tendril's origins. There's very little information on this mythical creature written in English, and translating the descriptions does become difficult. That is creepy as. I might have to have a look at that and read some more on that. Some tales suggest it emerged from discarded fabric in the river, transforming into a mysterious creature with four heads on each corner of the cloth. Bidar tendrils are said to stalk swimmers, individuals in small boats, or those walking near bodies of water, potentially feeding on unsuspecting victims. Witnesses who encountered the creature in the TikTok video describe it resembling an old mat or piece of carpet drifting on the lake, very similar to stories of the Badar tendrils. As the online community debates the creature's identity, questions linger. That looks like it's just a single thing, isn't it? It's got multiple Badar. heads. Or anything. Does the entity in the eerie video oh, truly mirror me. the Sulu Badar? Or could it be something else entirely? Theories abound and the mystery deepens, leaving viewers intrigued and unsettled. What are your thoughts on this bizarre creature? Have you heard of it before? And does this video actually show that it might actually exist? Share your theories and speculations on this one in the comments down below. Yeah, I haven't actually heard of that one. That's quite creepy, that. Uh, let us know what you think. It's a bit chilly in the old shed today, so I do apologise for the sneezing. That's a weird movement, that seems a bit too... I don't know. In recent weeks, a peculiar home security video seem to suit normal natural creatures. Storm. Uploaded by user Antonio the Probably Leo, the footage Sesame captured Street. by their doorbell camera has left viewers both baffled and intrigued. Uh. Take a look. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? As the footage unfolds, viewers are confronted with a series of strange lights hovering in the air. But that's not the only eerie element. Overlaying the visual spectacle is a snippet of a familiar tune, the Sesame Street theme song, specifically the line, Can you tell me how to get, repeated endlessly. Unsurprisingly, this bizarre piece of CCTV footage has gone viral, That's drawing mental. the attention of thousands of curious onlookers. Among those captivated by the video, a multitude of theories have emerged. According to the video's poster, the dancing lights could be a form of communication from a poltergeist, an unsettling prospect that sends shivers down the spines of many viewers. Others have entertained the notion that the source of the mysterious lights might be extraterrestrial beings or even time travellers attempting to convey a message through a strangely familiar song. That's mad. Interestingly, some netizens have drawn parallels between the uncanny phenomenon and the Voyager Golden Record, a project initiated by NASA. Curated by a committee led by the renowned Carl Sagan at Cornell University, the Voyager this one of the clips Record was sent is a up. compilation designed to represent Earth to potential extraterrestrial life. It features a diverse array of sounds, music, greetings and messages from our planet. However, it's crucial to clarify that the Sesame Street theme song is not among the sounds etched onto the official Northern. Voyager Golden Record, as some commenters have mistakenly believed. As the internet continues to speculate and dissect every frame of this bizarre video, the truth behind this phenomenon remains elusive. Whether it's the work of a mischievous poltergeist, an extraterrestrial message, or simply an elaborate hoax, 
The enigma of the doorbell camera footage continues to fascinate and confound. As with many mysteries, the answer may continue to elude us, leaving room for the imagination to run wild. The lights are crazy as well. It's, uh, it's all a bit strange, that one. Like, what do you guys think? Is that someone breathing, recording it through the door? Or is it actual footage, cam camera footage? Because it looks like it could be somebody just mucking about with a tape recorder or whatever. The clicks seem to... He's a quick, eerie little one uploaded around to TikTok by user Briscoe Park. Oh, he's in the woods. This user was out filming their late night stroll one night. Everything seemed perfectly fine. Oh. Not looking at the However, right. when they reviewed their footage when they got home, they were creeped out by what they saw. Yeah, so if they you watch the beginning of the clip again, you can make out a pair of glowing red eyes. Red? That's fair enough that they didn't see it. They did have a sense of being followed while out on their walk, but they brushed off the feeling, thinking it was nothing. It was over that way, wasn't it? So what do you think these eyes belong to? Is it just a normal woodland creature? Or is it something a little more sinister? Let me know in the comments down below. It's weird without the sound and stuff as well, that one. What do you guys think? I just feel really weird. This next one was uploaded to TikTok by user Jeremy Judkins2. It's some spooky footage the user captured while returning home one night. Take a look. My Tesla sees a person. Uh-uh, I'm locking the door. That's creepy. The video captures the chilling moment Jeremy's Tesla detects an entity standing nearby the car. Uh-uh. That smart. has me freaked out. Is there someone there? There are numerous examples on the internet of Teslas detecting people with their senses when nobody is around. So are these cars just glitchy, or are they capable of detecting things beyond the realm of human perception? That's creepy. Love to hear your take on this theory in the comments down below. I might have to look more into that if there's more examples of that. That's, that's weird, that. It's blatantly an outline of someone. That has me freaked out. Before we get to that number one spot, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel Please do, and also sub to my channel if you haven't already done so. Drop our scary I am trying videos. to hit the, the viewing targets. A peculiar video has surfaced, shared by a Reddit user known creature. as Dooza85 over on our Slaptam subreddit. The footage, sent by a friend's mother, captures an unsettling encounter at her front door during a quiet night of watching TV. Oh, the the eyes residing again. in Belding, Michigan, recounts seeing a dark face with unnaturally bright glowing eyes. Must be pretty close to the window. Fellow Redditors were at a loss to explain the strange sighting. Some thought it might be a wayward bear peering in through the window. Possibly. Others went into the realms of the supernatural, suggesting it's some kind of demonic entity looking to gain access to their home. As always though, I'll throw this one over to you, the viewers, for final judgment. Yeah, there you go, guys. What do you think of that? There's some creepy stuff in there, actually. It was good. Um, not too sure about the UFO, but the rest were quite creepy.
yeah, let us know what you guys think. As I mentioned, guys, I am trying to hit the targets. If you wouldn't mind subbing and hitting the thumbs up on the video, uh, dropping your favourite remote in the comments would be very much appreciated. Ring the bell for alerts of other content going live. I tend to do me spooky reactions Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I do go live most nights on YouTube um, playing Valorant and other games if you want to come along and have a discussion about any of the videos I've created. Um, I tend to put out gaming news updates as well and I've started revisiting a retro rundown as such um, of games I've played through my life. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, it'd be very much appreciated. In the meantime, have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.